Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful fall color um, that I took in one of the lakes conservation. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Colossians 3 verse 11. It says, Christ is all that matters and he lives in all of us. Here's my poem. Christ is all that matters. Who is the most important person in your life? Have you given your loyalty to Jesus Christ? To all those who committed to the Lord? Christ is all that matters and so is his word. There is nothing more powerful than Jesus. God's truth is vital and very precious. The Spirit lives in all of us, all God's people. Make the Lord your priority and stay faithful. Here's my essay. There are so many things that we are bombarded with in our world today. It is very hard to prioritize what are really important. People have been given so much choices and distractions that it is almost impossible to know how to arrange them in the hierarchy of their importance. The Bible tells us that Christ is all that matters and that he lives in all of us. It is sad that so many people, even some Christians, do not prioritize God in their lives. They surround themselves with all kinds of trivial things that distract them from making Christ the only thing that matters. Instead, we humans get sidetracked with idols which are anything that diverts us from being present with the Lord. Christ is all we need. When we are intimate with Him, we can be contented, joyful, and complete. Lord, help me to be contented in making you the center of my life. Reflection, what happens when all that matters in your life is Christ? Well, everything comes in place when you make Christ the sole most important thing. Um, you will have joy, peace, you will reap the fruits of the Spirit, which is kindness, gentleness, patience, understanding, and uh, self-control. So, it is very important that um, we make sure that we take God first in our life and, and, and uh, make sure that we spend intimate times with Him through prayer, through reading His Word, through studying His Word, and through doing good works for Him. So I hope that you're enjoying the new year, and it's been very cold here in Orangeville. Uh, we've been getting the minus 20s, uh, but today it's not so bad. It's minus 13, but with a windshield factor, it probably feels like minus uh, 18 or 20. So stay warm if you're in uh, Ontario, and those who are in a warmer countries, uh, thank God for the blessing of having that warm weather. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much and so do I.